I've got in MATLAB, what I did was I wrote the uh, greedy nearest neighbor version of part C, or part B, sorry, part B. So I wrote it, and I wrote it in MATLAB because I can plot the whole thing along the way. So this is running through greedy nearest neighbor, and it's showing what the cycle looks like along the way. So you can see like that, that line that's moving is the closing edge. So it's adding points by picking the nearest thing to the back of the path. And so you'll see sometimes the path ends up crossing itself because I sort of picked a bunch of points and then I had to get out of here. And to get out of here, I had to go to someone that was unvisited that was a little further away and had to cross uh, my path. And a path with crossings in it cannot possibly be optimal. There's got to be a, a cycle that doesn't cross itself. Now, maybe I shouldn't have done 1,000 points, but we are 65% done, and it's going to speed up. As we get closer to done, there's less things that have to be checked. And it does have a slight, I put in a program delay as it draws it, and there's the real problem with greedy nearest neighbor, is when there's a few points left on the outside edge, they all have to be stitched together in these crazy long lines before we can close the cycle. So our path length right now, it says up at the top, is 241.1, basically. So now I'm going to get a new graph, and it's going to run 2-opt on it. So it's going to take this graph and start 2-opting it. And you'll see all the changes that it makes as it's getting rid of crossings. So there's a, oh, shoot, I didn't stand up fast enough. I saw one. There's a cross. There's a bunch of crossings there. Yeah, so you can see it as it's removing those crossings, and you can see the path length up top is getting smaller and smaller as it makes more and more changes. Okay, I think it's about done. Yep, okay, so there we go. So it ended up at 197. It started out at 241. So 241 was the greedy nearest neighbor. After two opting it, I ended up at 197, which is about a 21, 22% improvement in my path length. So that's why, an example of why greedy nearest neighbor is not the greatest heuristic, and what 2-op does to it is get rid of a bunch of those crossings. So you can see, like, in here, there's a bunch of crossings right in the middle there, but when I go back to the other graph, those crossings in the middle are gone. And it's, it's still not an optimal path, but it's gotten rid of the crossings, which are obvious mistakes.